The breast meat of the chicken has become a go-to protein source for many Americans. One of the most popular ways to serve that food staple? Fried and in-between bread. We're here at Chick-fil-A in Burbank, California to eat what's become the trendiest food in American popular culture. The fried chicken sandwich. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. This is the first time ever on Chain Reaction where when I got here, Yev was here early because he wanted to eat here before we started. That's a first, right Yev? That's true. So let's see what we got. We got the classic Chick-fil-A waffle fries, the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich, the original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, the brand new macaroni and cheese, six piece chicken nuggets, six piece grilled chicken nuggets, various condiments, and Chick-fil-A lemonade. I've lived in Los Angeles 12 years. When I first moved here, there were zero Chick-fil-A locations. Now there's like hundreds this goes to show you, when you make a good product, people gonna eat it. Let's start with the lemonade. Interesting. Wow. I don't remember it being so tart. It's almost a little too tart. It's like a sweet tart. It's a combination of sweet and tart. And unsurprisingly, uh, sweet tarts were actually kind of the wackest candy. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet tarts were the wackest candy on Halloween. A couple days after Halloween, if you looked in the bottom of your bag, it'd be like black licorice, circus peanuts, candy corn, and then a whole bunch of sweet tarts. Like November 7th, there's like a lot of sweet tarts still left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Snickers, gone. There's like a nationwide shortage. There's like a nationwide shortage. Shortage, that's hard to say. Nationwide shortage of Snickers. Say it. Nationwide shortage of Snickers. You asshole. On November 7th, there's like a nationwide shortage of Snickers. Whereas, there's like a big surplus of sweet tarts. Sweet tarts, Smarties, Necco wafers, or any other powdered bullshit candy. It's a buyer's market on those on November 7th. Am I cussing too much? I'm gonna rate this lemonade a trick, not a treat. This is the original chicken sandwich here at Chick-fil-A. This is their go-to thing. This is what made them popular. Perfect. It's a perfect sandwich. I can't believe it's fast food. It's one of the best things we ever had here on Chain Reaction. I can't think of a better one. I need to take another bite. It's magnificent, dude. It's magnificent. It's extraordinary. It's the perfect combination of chicken, butter, salt, bread, They made the lemonade based on the sandwich. The lemonade's better if you have the sandwich in your mouth. That's how genius these people are. Sometimes I feel bad eating meat, but that's just so good. It's, it's like the forbidden fruit. It's like the apple that Eve ate or whatever, which is fitting because this is like a Christian organization, Chick-fil-A, right? How many times you want Chick-fil-A and it's Sunday? Every Sunday. How many times you'd be like, I want to go to church and it's Tuesday? Never. I used to say, I can't give up meat. I just wasn't raised like that. Which is weird because I was raised Catholic and that shit was real easy to give up. The perfect hip hop album that many would say is Illmatic by Nas. So I'm gonna rate this the Illmatic of fried chicken sandwiches. The pickle is brilliant. I would have never thought to put the pickle on there. There's chicken, bread, pickle. Three things, the Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Bread, chicken, pickle. The pickle is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the pickle is the Holy Spirit. It's hard to define its power. You know, we can we know what a father is. We know what a son is. The Holy Spirit, it's all around us. The pickle is all around us. It touches every part of us at all times. <laughs> Especially our mouth, tongue, and inner gums. This is the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. I guess it has pepper jack cheese, tomato, lettuce, and still the pickles. Still got the Holy Spirit. This pickle's like the Holy Ghost. Let's give it a bite. Chick-fil-A started in Georgia, the southern kind of food. The original chicken sandwich is like a regular southern girl, but when she gets all gussied up and goes to the Kentucky Derby and wears the hat and fancy dress and drinks the mint julep, that's this, that's the spicy deluxe when she gets all dressed up. And she's nice like that, but honestly, I kind of like her better when she just wears like her pajamas and no makeup around the house, you know what I mean? This is the other reason Chick-fil-A is so popular, the waffle fry. You can actually see like a southern guy 
that invented this, kind of like a big guy, you know what I mean, being like, my two favorite things is the fry and the waffle. How are we gonna put them things together? Let's try it sans condiment. With all fast food french fries, it's important to eat them as soon as you get them because they're hot and fresh. See, like we ate it maybe 12 minutes and now it already tastes a little soggy and wet sponge like. Some people don't mind that. I'm more into a, I'm more of a fresh fry guy. You know, that's just the type of guy I am. What are you, you have fresh guy fry guy or soggy fry guy? Soggy. You have the soggy fry guy? I'm a fresh fry guy. You know, but opposites attract. That's why we're good buddies. We like different fry, different fry absorption levels, you know? It's really made for dipping in condiments, so that's why the shape is enjoyable. The shape is like a fishing net. You catch a lot more fish with a fishing net than you do with a line, which is the shape of a fry. A fry is more like one fishing pole, you know what I mean? You catch a little fish with it, but it's really not that great of a metaphor, but I'm gonna still roll with it. They say there's always other fish in the sea, but I give these net-shaped friends fries the one fish that got away let's fish for some garden ranch shall we hmm <laughs> okay okay garden ranch which garden the garden of eden i give this garden of eden ranch two leaves the two leaves that cover the genitals of both adam and eve this is the six piece chicken nugget it tastes exactly like the chicken on the original chicken sandwich. So, in other words, it's delicious. They basically took the filet they put on the sandwich and cut it into six pieces. So it's just like a piece of the, the original, you know? You know how George Foreman named all six of his sons George? This is like George Foreman's book of names. And this is George Foreman's son's name. He cut him, just one, you know what I mean? Cut him into pieces. This is the name George. This is George Foreman's sons. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but I feel like somewhere if I had worded that better, that would have been a good metaphor. No woman would ever do that. Women aren't all egotistical like that. They would never be like, I, I want to carry on the legacy of Beth. What about Mary Queen of Scots? Wasn't there like a Mary Queen of Scots, uh, awesome. second or third or something? The Queen, like Queen Elizabeth the Third and stuff like that. That's how egotistical you have to be as a woman to have thirds and seconds. You gotta be the queen. A man can be a janitor and be like, I'm Steve the janitor, this is Steve the janitor, my motherfucking son. I like to make Wu-Tang references. So you could say like the chicken sandwich is like Wu-Tang, but then the individuals are like the Jizza, the Rizza, Inspector Deck, ODB. But like these are all the same as each other, where which made the Wu-Tang so good is they all had their own individual flavors, you know what I mean? So it's more like these are the Jizza, the Rizza, the ODB, Inspector the deck, you got Raekwon the chef, you know what I mean? These are all like a Barbie doll. And these are like the different clothes you put the Barbie doll in to be like, this is Malibu Barbie. This is workplace Barbie. This is army fatigues Barbie. This is this is realistic Barbie that just gets pregnant early and then takes some Xanax and Prozac and Dreamwise dies early. Let's test this honey mustard. It's a weird open right there. You would think that Zoro opened this honey mustard with his sword. It's a really sugary honey mustard. Solid. I rate this honey mustard a frozen chocolate Easter bunny. Solid and sweet. Are you ready to take a trip to Polynesia? I've never been to Polynesia, but it sounds like anesthesia, which is weird because I am feeling this. Let's try the grilled chicken nuggets. I can't imagine these are real popular. The best part of fried chicken is kind of the fried. There's a thought process that I go through when I taste food, and it's like, yeah, Chick-fil-A's gone through that process. They know that people think the grilled chicken's gonna be bad. They prepared for that. They put all kinds of spices and delicious like herbal flavorings on it to make it fantastic. It's so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Let's try it with the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. Too much sriracha, too much sriracha. It was better without it. I love sriracha, but in small dabs. Too much, too much, too much sriracha. Sriracha to me is like the companionship of a child. I just want a little bit of it. That's why I like being an uncle. You know, I don't need to be a dad. That's a lot. It's too much. You know what I mean? That's fatherhood. This is uncleship, which is where I like to be. This grilled chicken nugget was really good and way better than I expected it to be. I rate this Sacramento. Great town, didn't know. Last but not least, macaroni and cheese. I got bad information. Somebody told me the mac and cheese at Chick-fil-A was really good. I disagree with that person. You know when you taste milk and you look at it afterwards and it's way past the expiration date, that sour milk taste? I feel like that's the kind of milk they use to make this cheese. It's kind of ironic because they advertise with those cows. Please don't eat us, eat the chickens. And the moment they try to exploit the cows, what do the cows do? Yeah, we'll give you our milk for our cheese, all right. 
Sour ass milk. More like whack aroni and cheese. Nice. It just fell all over my leg. You know when you go down on somebody and it doesn't taste like you had hoped? That's what I rate this. Sucks that I'm out of lemonade. Jesus. What? Oh, thank you. It's full of wine now. Let's get the cluck out of here. What can I say? The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is amazing. I give it a Chick-fil-A, a nine out of 10. Now I'm gonna go home and live my dream. I got, yeah, yeah. If I got